What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we're hopping back onto the ranked double ladder with this amazing weakness policy, Metagross team. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. And yep, you guys did hear me correct. The rank online ladder, it is now November 1st by the time I am recording this. So all these Pokemon are allowed on rank battle which is amazing but this team right here is insane i cannot wait to get into it but before i even do start this team was made by my boy matt matt thank you so much for dropping this team over my instagram dms i cannot wait to show it off but rocking in that front spot we got the one and only sweet coon over here with inner focus and that citrus berry we got scald protect icy wind to slow down pokemon and snarl to pester and lower their special attack Right below it, behind my face cam, we got Inteleon with that Focus Sash and Torrent ability. We got Sucker Punch, which can, which can actually trigger the Metagross' weakness policy. That is going to be huge. We got Soak to actually change them into Water type. So Kartana over here can do some work, take out Pokemon in one shot with their Stab Grass move, and then get the Beast Boost and roll from there. And then it has Snipe Shot and Light Screen. Kartana up in the top right corner, like I said, pairs well with that Inteleon. We can get that Beast Boost from that Grass moves. And after we Soak, it also has Sacred Sword for coverage, Aerial Ace for coverage, and Smart Strike for smart strike that for a nice big old stab steel move it also has that assault vest so we can eat up a little bit of special attacking right below we got our tailwind user we got whimscott over here with the cobra berry and prankster ability one of my favorite move sets on this whimscott is on it right now we got taunt tailwind moonblast and charm i just absolutely love charm because we can just drop that physical attack and basically take out a pokemon it kind of puts minus two on it and that is huge that's huge especially for a physical attacker in the bottom left we got the one and only metagross who is like the heart and soul of this team well the bottom two pokemon are like the heart and soul of the team the pokemon that are really going to be uh picking up the wins for us metagross has a clear body the weakness policy steel roller ice punch stomping tantrum and zen headbutt and then in the final spot we got thunderous with bolt absorb life orb for its nice big old damage rising bolt nasty plot dark pulse and protect guys you want to chop this team for yourself rental code is at the bottom of the screen but let's get started off on the rank ladder well and try to get some wins with this team first battle coming at you guys for ranked double battles this is amazing look at the two teams and all the pokemon that are showcased look at that dragapult's back and we got all the new pokemon like tapu koko landorus galarian articuno reggie Alecki. i got sweet coon katana it is just awesome looking amazing but he has two electric pokemon i gotta bring in my uh, thunders here definitely because uh tapu koko can set the electric terrain we have rising voltage which will be double damage in there we have Volt absorb which will help us out as well um do i go soak and tell do I go Soak and Talion? That could be a play. Um, I gotta watch out for that Intimidate back here. Oh no, we have Clear Body, so I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna go Intellion and Metagross, because we got Clear Body. We can trigger that weak policy. Bring Thunderous in the back end. Do I need speed? I do need speed. I kind of want to... Hmm. I kind of want to bring Whimsicott here. I kind of just want to bring Whimsicott for a speed factor later. But at the same time, I don't want to bring it in as a back end Pokemon. I just don't think that's the play. I really don't think that is the play. Um, hmm. I could go... I don't know, who, who do I really want to go with? Maybe Kartana here. It's Kartana. I'm going to bring Whimscott in the back end. I think it's fine. If Inteleon goes down, then we can set up Tailwind, and I feel like my Metagross and Thunderous should be able to do enough damage or be strong enough just to wipe out everybody, and we'll be chilling. I can also pester by using Charms and all that good stuff to lower physical attack, because he does have a few uh, physical attacking Pokemon on this team, but a lot of them are special attacking from what I saw. The Regilecki, that's uh, special. Same thing with Tapu Koko, um, Glarian Articuno, and who else is there? I forget the other ones. <laughs> I already forget the other ones. There's Mamoswide, but he's physical. But Tapu Koko and Galarian Articuno get the lead. They do get the lead. I'm definitely going to Sucker Punch here, and I'm going to get after this. I'm definitely Sucker Punching, and who should I try to take out? Who should I go after? I want to keep this electric coming, because I have my Thunders. I definitely want to keep it, so I'm going to go... Actually, do I set up a late trigger? No, I'm going to go for a Sucker Punch. I really want to trigger this off policy. And then do I Quake? That thing is not Levitate. I know that. And we could get a Special Defense boost. I say we do that. I say we do that and take out the top of Coco. There's no way either you guys are Alice switching. I think the electric shot is coming across on my Inteleon. Maybe a Volt Switch? Oh, ooh. E. Probably Volt Switching out. That'd be huge. Now that would just take out my Inteleon right away. But at least we'll get off the Sucker Punch. And get, start getting that special defense boost. Even though it's not Stab, I just feel like the special defense boost is going to work way better than the, the, what's it called? The physical defense boost. Let's see. Let's see what happens here. He's Dynamaxing. Is it going to be Coco or is it going to be Articuno? I, I feel like it's going to be Articuno here. I'm going to start boosting speed. We're going to see what, what's going on here. It's going to be Coco. Okay, so Coco is staying in. Staying in. It is here to play. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. I'm dropping this Quake over on the side. He has a... 
fairy moves and electric. So Metagross should be just fine with dealing with damage from this thing. I'm gonna Dynamax as well. We're gonna trigger my weakness policy. And then if Inteleon can survive another turn, hopefully, just maybe, we can get off a light screen here and set up and then be able to roll out fine. Be able to bring out Whimsicott, start tailwinding up, passing around, and uh, working wonders. Well, let's see what this thing does. He might stop, he might have Landers. No, that, that was another Pokemon. It's like a big threat. But that's for Intimidate Drop, and I'm fine with it. I'm totally fine because we have Clear Body on my Metagross. That's why I decided to go into it, and I'll get after it. But weakness policy is triggered. We're thriving. We're plus two. Come on, Gene, Joe. Let's get started off strong in this ranked double ladder. Lightning's coming out of here. Okay, yeah. Oh, on my Metagross. Oh, okay. Okay. You want to go for that? I'm fine with that. Freezing Glare is going to come out here. That's totally fine. Go after my Inteleon. Inteleon, eat this one up, please. Say, yo, that's a tasty snack you got there. Beautiful. Beautiful. And hopefully my boy can actually eat up, uh, or be able to get off a of light screen. That won't be chilling. But Quake's coming out here. This is going to be huge. Nice big old damage. Tapu Koko gone. Dynamax Tapu Koko out here. Get it going. That's totally good by me. I'm loving this so far. I'm loving this. We're looking good. He has no Dynamax. We have a plus one special defense and plus two attacking Metagross right here. Stats cannot be changed because of the clear body, which is just nandy candy. Um, if I get off this light screen, it's definitely GG. We have, a. Uh, Thunderous in the back who's going to thrive with that electric surge. Like, Lord, we, oh, Reggie Lecky's coming out here. Um, do I just, uh, hmm, do I try to get off that slight screen? I know Reggie Lecky's going to, uh, be the fastest on the field. You know that. Or I can go for a sucker punch and do damage. Or do I go for the swap? No, I'm going to just do this. Uh, is this thing levitated? I really don't want to risk it. I don't think this thing learns levitate. What was, uh, what the heck is this thing's ability? I kind of want to look it up real quick, but I do not have time. It's not levitate, I don't believe, but I really don't want to risk it. Hmm. I think I just changed up the terrain to my terrain. I think we're just going to go max mindstorm. I don't think it learns levitate, though. I really don't think it learns levitate. Sucker Punch going to come out of here. We know that thing's gonna outspeed take on my Italian. That is why I owe what's called. That is why. Oh, you're gonna go for a rising voltage. And then freezing glare. Oh, you're gonna take on my Metagross, you biscuit. Oh, we eat though. We eat. Yo, my Metagross is king. He is king over here. I could have gotten off a of light screen. I could have gotten off a of light screen. Reggie Alecki, yawn. Get it out my face. Um, I might just guard this turn and just keep sucker punching away. Keep doing work. Or maybe try to get off a snipe shot. Dude, we just slapped on that thing. <laughs> We just slapped on that thing. Dude, Metagross ate that Frisian Glare up like it was nothing. Like it was nothing. Mamoswan comes out. I know I outspeed that. That's it. That's an easy outspeed. Uh, Articuno is going to be the only problem. I think I'm just going to snipe shot. I think I'm just going to double up into the Articuno slot. I think that's the play. Double up into Articuno slot. Oh, yeah. We're thriving. We're thriving. Drop a Hailstorm. No, I'd rather drop a Mindstorm. It's not very effective. I forgot this thing is Psychic. We're just going to drop a Steel Spike. Nice little steel spike. Yeah, we need Articuno gone. Ice Shard coming out here. Protected by the terrain. Get out my face. <laughs> Get out my face. No first turn priority moves. Get it out of here. Why we're not dropping Sucker Punches anymore. Snipe Shot comes out. Takes that thing out. We get a crit. Well, crit's higher chance with Snipe Shot. We're thriving. We're thriving here. Get my boy Metagross to finish this one off. He's eating all day. Doing big damage. This should be game. This should be game. GG. Let's go. What a way to actually start off the new season. Just shut him out. Didn't we shut him out? Yeah, we have all four Pokemon. Metagross comes out with that sweep and picks up our first win. Going up against another Reggie Alecki team for our second battle. He also has Dusclops. What is that? Glaciary? Is that how you pronounce it? Or I I, I might have just be thinking of something totally different, but it might be Glaciary. Um, Tapu Fini, Galarian Moltres, and Landris. Dude, Landris is so good. I'm so scared of that thing. Like, it's just an absolute beast. I don't know why. It's just so good. It is, I think it's the best. In my opinion, I think it is the best for competitive out of the three little, I guess, genie Pokemons. Because that Intimidate is so good. It's just so good. But who should I lead here? I don't think he's really going to play Trick Room. I really do not think that. I'm going to lead Whimscott and try to get the Speed Advantage on. Uh, go Suicune? Do I go Suicune and Kartana and Inteleon? That could be good. That could be good. Oh, no. We kind of want Thunderous here. Thunderous would be work wonders. I want to go. I think we bring Suicune in the back, and I think we lead Thunders. Let me check this thing somewhere real quick. I think it is special attacking. Or we could lead Suicune. I think Suicune would be a solid lead. And then we just go uh, Thunders, and we bring Kartana in the back end. Do I really need speed that much? I really don't think I need it. We have Kartana here. We keep Metagross out of here. Hmm. 
<laughs> I think I'm gonna actually bring Metagross and save Cartana for the back end. We're gonna bring my boy Metagross over here. Get Suicune rolling out here. Suicune's an absolute gem on this team. I love Pokemon like Suicune or like this moveset Suicune has. Uh, you, you can just snarl and it's just like a pester moveset. Kind of just lower stats and it rolls out and does its job very, very well. Eats up shots and it's, it's just it's just around to keep other Pokemon alive longer. And I really do like Pokemon that can uh, be used like that. Like Arcanine, when you put on will o -Wisp, Snarl, and all that other stuff, it just thrives really, really well. Uh, he's going to go Dusclops into Regilecki, which is kind of a weird combo. I'm going to taunt the Dusclops. That's a for sure little factor there. And I think I'm going to protect my boy right here. My Suicune. I'm definitely going to taunt you. And I'm just going to protect you. I might actually swap. I'm going to swap next turn. I'm, I'm going to think. I'm going to make him think that I'm just staying out here. Thriving with this uh, Suicune. Have him protect the shot. And then I'm going to go into the Volt Absorb. Swap. I think, that's, I think that's a chill play. I think that's a really nice play. I was going to go into it this turn. But I want to make him think that I'm staying in. And if he doesn't do it, then that's totally fine. That's totally fine. Let's see what happens. Protect coming out. Block. Put my block up. Put my guard up, baby. We're gonna go with the taunt. We're gonna say, hey yo, dust claps. You you ain't allowed to do much today. We're gonna say, yo, slow your roll there, kid. Regilek, he's gonna go for a light screen. What are you doing? A light screen? You crazy. This thing's trying to trick him. Okay. Uh, we're gonna go here. Uh special Regil uh special. I set up a tailwind. Yeah, dude, that thing is so fast. I'm gonna set up a tailwind and then I'm just gonna just swap you. I'm just gonna swap you into Thunderous. I'm just gonna swap for that Bolt Absorb. Try to see if we can uh, steal a turn here. Or if we get up a Freak Tailwind. Thunder is coming out here. I just like he is a speedy little mod. Kind of annoying. What's it setting up a Reflect? But I just don't want it to just dump on my Suicune now. Yep, here comes the Bolt Switch. Block. Give me that Bolt Absorb. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. I'm not dealing with you. <laughs> Nightshade coming out here. And he's going up into the Wimscott slot. I'm chilling. Uh, I think he might Bolt Switch again into my Wimscott slot. But I'm just start uh, throwing down and attacking over onto this Dusk Op slot. I could Dark Pulse, or I could Nancy Pulse. I'm gonna plot, dude. I'm totally plotting. I'm totally plotting. I'm gonna try to set up with uh, Thunders. I'm totally trying to set up with this Thunders right here. Let's get after it, yo. Nancy Pot coming out here. Get rolling. Get off me. I'm just gonna send a Moonblast over onto that Dusk Op slot, because I really don't want it doing too, too much. Volt Switch gonna come out now. Volt Switch, I could see definitely coming out now. Bang. A little bit of damage. <laughs> Just a little bit. And he's going to set up a Reflect. Which is totally fine. We have no physical attackers out here besides Metagross. And Metagross will probably come in after all that's done. Nightshade's coming over here on my Thunderous. We're already plus two. I'm Dynamaxing now. He shook off Taunt. And now I'm going to Taunt again. And I'm going to Dynamax and get rolling with this. And do I Lightning and set the terrain? Now I'm just going to uh, go Darkness and double up into the... Do I double up in the Clop slot? Do I go after Regilecki? He's kind of like a pester and a little annoying on right now. Actually, I'm not worried about him right now. I really am not. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to double up in uh, Dusk Op. We're going to double up in the Dusk Op. We're going to taunt him just in case. Because this might not actually KO. It's not sad. We are plus two, which is wonderful. Beast Ball this thing was catched in, which looks phenomenal. I think that's one of the cooler Pokeballs. But uh, what's that one Pokeball? This is one of my favorite ones. It's like the red one. I think it's called like a Cherish Ball or something. It's like all red. It looks phenomenal. But I've always been a fan of uh, just regular Pokeballs, Green Balls, Ultra Balls, and Master Balls. Just for like nostalgia reasons. I don't even know why. But I definitely want to get like a, a metal replica of all four of those Pokeballs. Like like real size. Like hand palm. Like Pokeball size. Like that would be amazing. I think that would look so cool. But Darkness is going to pop here. We are plus two. And okay, that just dumps on it. The taunt wasn't even needed. I just put it on the taunt just in case we don't pick up the KO. And we are going to get that. Oh, we get a crit. That is why. That is why. See, I didn't think we were going to be able to pick up the KO. But the crit does help out. Special defense is dropping on Regilecki. Um, he's got to go after my Whimsicott. That's a fact. We gotta, he's going to go for an Electro Web. We get both as well. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the HP. I really do appreciate it. <laughs> what are you doing, my dude? You're going to slow down my Whimsicott? That's totally fine. Whimsicott has Prankster on it. He's thriving. Throw out a physical attack of him. I kind of want to keep this, uh, this, uh, Regilecki alive. He's just going to be healing me up. Glacier is coming out. Or Glacier. I don't even know how to pronounce it. Glacier. Whatever, whatever. It's not that big of a deal. But, um, that thing is physical attacking. Do I charm it? I know we outspeed it. So I think we are just going to, uh, have a Moonblast over here. And drop a Max Lightning. This thing does not have... I'm telling you, there's no way it learns, uh... What is that one called? Lightning Rod. There's no way it's Lightning Rod. I'm gonna drop the electric move. 
I am gonna drop the lecture move and just see. I'm gonna just see. There's no way it's lightning rod. Because if it's lightning rod, I think we lose this one. <laughs> I think we lose this one. I think Glacier takes me out. I hope it's not. I don't think it is. I really don't think it is. I might be dumb, but that, that would lose this game. And that would just be on me for not knowing my Pokey knowledge. And that's totally... That, 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 I would have to take that one in the chin. That would be like on, on, totally on me. Like, I can't do anything about it. But Moonblast... Oh, Lightning is coming out here. He's not Lightning Rod. Okay, cool. Yeah, I, I thought so. We're going to do some nice damage. We're going to get our little bit of terrain over here. I should have charmed it, to be honest. I definitely should have charmed that thing. That could have been huge. But Moonblast is going to slide over. I did not really see him Dynamax in this thing. But he does. He does go off with the Dynamax. He's going to be able to drop off the Hailstorm. I just like he goes for the Light Screen. I think he doesn't want to give me HP or anything. But he doesn't want to swap. Moonblast popping out here. Wow, he's minus one. Give me the drop. No drop on him. Hailstorm's coming out here. Come on, my Whimscott, please. Come on, Whimscott. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because this next Max Lightning will definitely take out this Glacier because of the uh, the boost he's going to get from the terrain. That is wonderful. I could pull out Sweet Coon now and just protect next turn, which I probably will do. Chilly Nays coming in here. E. E. Do we still have Tailwind? That's my real question. Do we still have Tailwind? We might have one more turn in Tailwind, I'm thinking. If we do, we're thriving. We do not. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Are you serious? What do you mean? Um, hmm. I'm just going to go and sweep in and protect. I don't know. I do not know. To go Metagross. I think we just go sweep in into the protect. Because we know Vegelecki is going to be fastest. We're going to protect you. They eat that. And then we are going to go into the max ending. Because if I get this thing out the way, we're thriving. We're just chilling. We're doing dandy work. Let's see what happens. Thunderish, show me that you're faster than this thing in normal. But I don't think it is. These little horsies are too strong. These horsies hit like absolute trucks. Protect popping off here. You're definitely trying to volt switch out on me. Maybe send an electro web. That would be dandy. He's going to guard himself. That's fair. That's fair moving me. That is totally fair. Volt switch comes out here. Blah. Get out of my face. Uh, he's going to try to volt switch again. Max lightning. Blah. Just, just a waste of a turn. Just a waste of a turn. And I go down to my, uh, out of my Dynamax form. That is all my turns. I use him up. That's a good battle. That's a real good battle. And I'm going to swap sweep in here. I'm going to swap sweep in here. He can volt switch out now. He can totally volt switch out now. Get Metagross up in here. And I'm going to go Rise and Bolt. This is actually double damage here. Actually double damage. I pull this off. If I do this, we're thriving. We're chilling. We can get back here, you little biscuit. Get back here, boy. Metagross, get out of here. Get out of here, Metagross. I ain't playing around. Go ahead. Go for your Bolt Switch now. Go for your Bolt Switch. I'm playing around. God, you can do some damage on me. That's fine. Imagine like he went back. And I think he's going to stand out Landorus. I think Landorus is going to be his final mod. If I had to guess. Intimidate Pokemon. That would do nothing to me. So that's going to be huge. It is Landorus. I'm totally fine with that. Clear body. Nothing happened to Metagross. We're special attacking. Oh, we thriving. We thriving. I like that play. I like that play all day. I like it all day, baby. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yes. Thunderous goes first. That should take out. Let's go. Let's get it. We got a crit. Yo, even though I don't even think we need it. I think we were taking out either way. We have that electric terrain and rise voltage, which is double damage. We're plus two already. We are thriving here. And luckily, I do have a dark move, so we can actually hit up on this Landers. Oh, I'm liking this a lot. I'm liking this a lot. I think we got to protect Landers now. Actually, no, we don't. No, we don't. Retro Lucky can't do nothing up against these Pokemon. We are chilling. We are chilling. Because he has... I already know his moveset. He can't do anything up against Landers. Or not Landers. He can't do anything up against uh, Thunders. You cannot do anything, man. Um, I'm just going to go for Zen Headbutt. I, I'm just going to try to take out this... Uh, Landers here. Do I protect here? No, we're going to Dark Pulse. I got to get rid of this thing. I do have to get rid of this uh, Landers if we're going to win this game. Bolt Switch comes out. That's fine. We should be able to eat. Yep. Metagross eats up. Survives turn. Dark Pulse coming out here. Doing some big enough damage here. We'll be able to take out. Yep. KO. And that's game. That is game. Another crit? What you mean? <laughs> Yo, dude. This dude's probably freaking out. Like, this guy has three crits on me, but we are plus two. Like, we're doing big damage regardless. Um, This game is over. Regilecki cannot, oh, well, Regilecki just goes down there, but Regilecki couldn't have taken out my uh, Landorus or my Thunderous because of our ability, so we would have won that regardless. 2-0, let's hop into our third battle. 
third and final battle coming at you guys and i seen something about teams like this but i really do not know what they do it is a regigigas and galarian weezing team i know they have some type of combo that they do but i'm not sure exactly what it is but we are looking for that perfect record we are off to a strong start on this rank double ladder we are 2-0 but we're but we are looking for that 3-0 for the jeans online gaming community baby we are looking for it right here right now we're gonna lead inteleon and kartana try to get that so combo ro rolling i feel like if he leads that regigigas i can just soak it up and tell it to go home and just slap on it and then get the beast boost and uh, roll from there we're gonna bring suicune like i said suicune is uh it's a it's a nice gem on this team and then in the final spot do we really need speed advance here yes fake out oh he does have fake out that's kind of scary he does have fake out which is scary but i think he would fake out my kartana more so than my inteleon I think, it's, uh, I think that oh but then the grassy guy comes out it's just scary we do have we do a sash we are sash we are sash um final spot i'm gonna give it to i think i'm gonna give it to metagross i think women's is gonna stay home this game i think metagross deserves it it's just an absolute beast uh, i do not think we need thunderous this turn he has a uh, and and i'm not just uh, i'm not dealing with it right now <laughs> even though we dumped on it last turn but a big old crit but yo look at this dude's trainer card kind of got to update my trainer card. He has all three of the Pokedex already done. I only have one of them so far. And that is the, the first one. I almost had the Isle of Armor done. But I kind of gave up on it. And I haven't even tried the, really the Crown Tundra. I've been uh, uh picking at the Crown Tundra every here and there. But he goes Regigigas. And the dude Galarian Weezing. They have this uh this little combo that they want with. I'm not too sure what it is. But I'm going to soak this Regigigas. And I'm Dynamaxing. And I'm getting after this thing. Neutralizing Gas popping. Oh, but that stinks. And Beast Boost will not trigger. I'm still doing it. You, you, I'm still doing it. Get on my face. I'm still doing it. We still getting after it. <laughs> we still getting after it. I would love to get that beast boost, but it's not happening. I should have actually soaked the wheezing, but the Regigigas just poses such a bigger threat, you know? I probably should have soaked the wheezing. Because if I would have took it out, then I would have got the beast boost, and then we would have been rocking out. But the little paper bug, I don't even know what this thing is. It's like a steel origami brass type. I don't know how. We're gonna dynamax it, get this HP almost up to 300, and we're gonna get buzzing. We're gonna get buzzing here. Let's see. I don't know what this co like what this combo consists of. I really do not know. But say I change it to uh, typing the water. Does that mean the stab damage moves go away? I think so. But big boss man gets a dynamite. Oh my lord. This thing is huge. This thing is absolutely insane. Look at this dog. Look at this huge Reggie Genghis, dude. I remember when it was releasing a uh, sword and shield. Oh, Weezing protects. Not sword and shield. In a uh, diamond and pearl. Or platinum. I don't know which one he was actually introducing. I think it was Sword and Shield. But we're going to soak this thing up. Not Sword and Shield. Why do I keep saying Sword and Shield? Blah. In Diamond and Pearl. And then the Overgrowth coming out here. Doing some nice damage. Can we just dump on this thing? That'd be wonderful. We do not dump on it, but we do get some big damage off on this bulky little mod here. We get our terrain popping. And I can just uh, Overgrowth next turn and just soak over on this thing. For that turn. Or we'll maybe set up a Light tree. I think I'm going to set up a Light tree. The Flare's coming out here. Oh my lord. This thing has Flare. This thing has Flare? What you mean? What you mean this thing has flare? This dumps on my Cartana. And what you mean, dog? Not looking good for us. I was not expecting that thing to rock out with flare. It probably just has an insane coverage moveset. That's really that's really what I'm saying. It's probably just got that moveset that is just crazy. But we got Suicune and Metagross, and I do not know what to do. Not know what to do. Uh, I guess we're going to roll in the Metagross. That's a must. That's a must. Um... I could go Suicune and start snarling, snarl barling around. It might be the play. We're up with water here, which is kind of scary. I don't think you got a grass. Move. He probably does, to be honest with you. And I don't want to go in the Metagross because then he's just going to flare that thing and take it out. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go in the Suicune and I'm going to just start snarling. I'm going to just start snarling. That's the play. I'm going to just start trying to get after this Regigigas. Um, set up a Light Screen. Yeah, we're going to set up the Light Screen. We're going we're gonna to roll with the Light Screen and snarl barl. Let's get it. Let's get after it. This is, this is like our only chance. This is just uh, waste out this turn, get rid of this Regigigas, and then have uh, have Metagross come in here and try to pick up the win. But it's gonna be close. I don't think we're. Gonna, I, don't, I don't think we got this one. A strike coming out here. The normal move. We already, we already have the light screen up, and that thing just puts us into a focus ash. This thing physical or special? Like, I don't even know. I really don't know. I really have no idea if this thing's physical or special. Our speed dropping down low, which is tough news. That's bad news. He's going for that sludge bomb, and he's going to go after my Suicune. Suicune's going to be able to eat that one up, no problem. And of course, you get the poison, man. You get the poison. Not looking good for a Snarl comes out. Weezing a poison. What you mean? Get out my face. Get out my face. We do a little bit of damage to Regigigas, but we get that special attack drop. But he probably physical attack. Wait, like he, 
dumped on that That was big damage on the on. Everyone's getting HP. I can't believe Weezing dodge it. I really wanted that Snarl onto it. Um, I guess we have to double up in the Reggie. I guess we double up in the Reggie. Of course, I'm poison, man. Of course, I'm poison. Not a fan. Not a fan. Uh, let's go into that snipe shot. The best bet. It's not very effective, man. Uh, you know what? We're going after you. We're going after you. I'm sick of you. Let's slow them down. But I'm just double up in this week. God dang it, man. Yo, dude, this Reggie Gagas isn't playing around here. It's not playing around. Snipe shot coming out here. Give me a crit or something. Even though the, the heat is going to neglect a lot of that damage. Look at that. That thing's eating all day. It's easy eats for him. And the strike's coming out here again over on my Suicune slot. Yep. Suicune. Can you eat? Suicune eats up all day. He says, yo, that's a tasty snack you got there. Thank you very much. And my Citrus Berry should uh, trigger right here, too. Which is dandy. And then we'll get some HP back from the Crashy Train, which kind of is just like neglected by the poison. Nice tasty berry. Suicune still has to go, right? I still gotta throw a Scald over here. Blood Brown coming out here, and it's gonna take out Inteleon. But Dynamax turns are over for Regigiga, so there is still a slim chance of Jeans pulling this off, but not looking good for your boy. Not looking good. After that Cartana went down, I did not expect that thing to have a, what's he on? That have a fire move. That, like, fire moves are four times super effective to Cartana, considering we're steel and grass. So once he sent that out, I was like, bruh, nah, yo, everything that I did is done. We are over with. Because I was thinking we, even if we half that, which we did, we half damage that Regigigas. I was like, okay, we just pull out another max overgrowth and we take it out next turn. Because there's no way you're taking me out. Has flare, bro. He has flare. He pulls it out. He says, I don't care what you say. I'm pulling out the flare and I'm getting after it. But Gross is coming out here. Um, I do not have protect on him. Suck. That sucks, bruh. Like, what you mean I don't have protect on him? Um, okay. I guess we gotta go for a... I could steel roll. I could steel roll. <laughs> But I'm just then headbutt over on this red gate, so he's gotta go. He's definitely gotta go. Uh, I guess I'll snarl again. I guess I'll snarl again. <laughs> Weezing gonna protect. Okay, that's fair. You think I'm going after you, Weezing? I'm going after Reggie Gigas. I want that thing out of here. Knock off coming out of here. Yo, knock off my policy, bro. And dealing some mean damage to me. You see how he slapped? His arm came around. Oh, that still triggers policy? It doesn't knock it off first? Okay, so Reggie Gigas is dead. I'm cool with that. Zen headbutt. Uh, we just need some speed out here. We need some speed. <laughs> That's kind of whack. If you go for a knockoff, it triggers the policy before knocking it off. I would, I, I, like, I don't know. If I created this game, I would say knockoff just takes off the policy. That's what. I, that's how I would have made it. I would have made it, yeah, policy gone. It just slaps it off. We trigger on policy. He's triggering. That works for me. That works. That's actually better for us, but let's see what happens here. Let's see how we're going to play this one. Um, Suicune's gonna take poison damage, and that was already neglected by a little bit of the, the grass train. I could go for a steamroller. I know we're, we're out speeding that thing. Real Boom's coming out here for the fake out. Um, dang man. Not looking good for you, boy. I'm gonna go for the ice punch. I really want you on. I need that thing out of here. I think we just started off. I think I protect you. Just protect you. I think he's gonna fake out my, uh, my Metagross regardless. I think he's weak this policy. He's gonna double up and do it. E, maybe I shouldn't protect the Suicune. But this, this one's looking tough for us either way. If he goes for a fake out on the Suicune slot, then we're like, okay. Then I'm feeling good about this. He goes for a knockoff. Oh, no. He's just going to take me out. Eat up. Eat up. I love you, Metagross. Metagross, you're my best friend on planet Earth. On planet Earth. Keep on, baby. Keep eating. Keep eating, Metagross. Dude, no way this thing's running like this. No way this thing's running like this. Strange scene. Goes over on Suicune. Oh my lord. Hold up. Sunlight's gone. Suicune's gonna be able to thrive a little bit. Do I have another Pokemon in the back? I don't think I do. I don't think I do. It was Cartana and... Who did I leave with Cartana? And Italian. No, they're both dead. Oh my lord. I can take out Weezing in one shot. It really depends who this next Pokemon is. It just can't be someone fast. It can't be somebody fast. Grass disappears. Okay. Oh my lord. <laughs> dude, Metagross is a tank, dude. He's a tank. He's eating up all day. He's gonna go out in the heat train. And I think we outspeed this thing. I can just, uh, he has, he has a balloon. I can go steamroll. Oh no, I cannot go steel roller. This move fails when the ground hasn't turned into terrain, so we cannot go for that. Then headbutt's gonna have to pop. I'm gonna have to take out this wheezing here. I'm gonna just go for a scald and try to, try to do some work on this heat train. Let's get after it. He train goes first. No, no, he outspeeds. He outspeeds. Now that's definitely game. That's 100% game. I need my Metagross to outspeed that thing and just uh, dump on Heatran. I didn't, I didn't know Heatran's speed. That's why I was just like, okay, maybe we can outspeed this thing. But we will not be able to. Sweet King's gonna come out here. Get a skull. Can we take this thing out? Maybe? I don't think we are, but we're gonna be able to do some nice damage. 
But that's gonna be game. That is going to be game. Air balloons popping. Heatran's just gonna drop uh, his next move. Probably still move over here. Finish me off next turn, and that is GG. That is GG. We got two and one for this video. Awesome video. Awesome video to show off the first uh, day of ranked battles. I'm, I, I couldn't be happier. I couldn't be happier. Two and one. Got to show off this team to its fullest potential. But uh, gonna pick up that last battle victory. One last shout out to my boy Matt for dropping this team. I enjoyed it so much. That weakness policy Metagross is an absolute beast, as you guys can tell. In all three of his battles, he played a nice big old role in actually making us win or having a chance of winning. The Thunderous was amazing as well with the Volts Absorb and that Life Orb. And then the Kartana is an absolute beast with that Soak Inteleon. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.